never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way Let's see if I can get this thing working. Tuned in right about there. Today is the start of Monster Palooza 2023 here in Pasadena, and we are here to enjoy it. But here's the thing we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Enjoy. So here's the calm before the storm. Dan Gilbert, good friend of ours, an amazing makeup artist is turning Jessica into something grotesque. Are you ready? <laughs> she was born Let's give it a serious look straight ahead. Zoolander it. You can't tell, but she is a little nervous. Before she sat down in the chair, she was like, I got bubbles. She's got this. You got this. putting in her teeth, the upper teeth. Well, I should, I should say gums, teeth. right? She's putting her tooth in. <laughs> you feel weird? Feel secure? Do they hurt? There's a tooth. Then here's the one tooth. The one. Beautiful! Let's see it. <laughs> Egg rose. What have you been eating? So this is just mouth effects and KY jelly, but right now we're working on two different thickened versions of mouth effects too. So we're gonna do it more about this kind of gel consistency and then we'll do a paste. So you can pop out chunks, you can chew, it works inside the mouth, outside the mouth, on the skin, everywhere. So that'll be delicious. The, it does. It's nice and sweet. Yeah. Does it actually taste There are so many people out there watching this all unfold. It's kind of kind of crazy. This is a great time to tell you guys about this. Dan, he has a company called Mouth FX. Basically, all that stuff that you see coming out of Jessica's mouth that you saw him put on it, it looks like. Keep in mind, I gotta kiss that later on. That's all stuff that he creates. He creates this gory, nasty stuff that you see in the movies that zombies and dead folk and vampires, things that come out of their mouth. All right, let's get back to the makeup. Oh, Baby oh, goal, let's yeah. see that face. Ew. Ew. Look at that. Oh, my freaking word. Delicious. All in front of your audience. Yes, all kinds of people. You're looking at them all, taking pictures. Yes, even you. <laughs> you want Almost missed the drool. Give some drop. We'll give some drops. There we go. Look at this. I just. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just nasty. <laughs> Jessica's getting into a fat suit in the costume, and the crowd is here. Almost ready, and then she's going to be getting photos, so.
it's crazy to see it all come together. Oh, she's loving it. First time seeing herself in the mirror. It's love at first bite. <laughs> first gum. First tooth. First tooth, yeah. Love at first tooth. Perfect. Oh, the tongue. The tongue. Cool. Did you get tongue What the hell is that? He was the mustache man. Now I'm see how it goes. Tongue is tongue. 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 Tongue All right, baby ghoul, come over here. Literally, baby ghoul. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> so, it's been, what, like three hours in the chair to look like this. And there are a bunch of people here that want to meet you and get a photo with you. How does it feel? <laughs> Absolutely, grotesquely beautiful. Oh, oh, <laughs> and then you gotta like pop the booty. You gotta pop, pop the booty. Can I spank it? Woo! <laughs> Show us how you run. She's getting down. Fast. She zooms out. Oh, she's fast. There she goes. Ready? One, two, three. Activate. There she goes. Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of people that want to get photos over at the chair. Yeah, let's go back on the chair, and then you can just wander around and mess with people. And now is the fun part. Basically, we're going to roam the convention, get pictures with different people, and just mess with people. This is going to be fun. This one here is very extra special. The first picture, aside from the videos and the professional photos. It is awesome to finally meet you. I'm just saying. I'm sorry that Jessica is looking no. a little like this. No. No, no, no. It's okay. Oh my god. Just don't even know. I love you guys so much. I love it. I love when the tongue comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And then like the excess of so that's the heart symbol. She's showing you a little heart symbol. It just looks a little strange because of uh, her nails.
Ready to walk. Oh. <laughs> 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 Just making our rounds, saying hello to some of the crazy, crazy people we meet here. Thank you. These are good friends of ours. Good. Oh, I could tell by the reaction. Oh, the time. Oh. And with that being said, this is how we chose to start Monster Palooza 2023. Enjoy. So we have a little bit of bad news. Robert England canceled last minute. It is what it is. The man got sick or something, but he is not going to be here, so we're not going to be able to get our our poster, our Nightmare on Elm Street poster signed by Robert England. But that's okay because there are other people here that we want to get signatures by. Day two begins. Now, oh, baby girl, right now we're standing in line to meet Doug Jones. Uh, somebody we've been wanting to meet for quite some time, but I wanted to point out that the last time that we saw you, last night at the start of this video, you were looking a little, uh, dare I say, beautiful. beautiful. How, so beautiful. how was all that? It was amazing. It kind of felt like going to the spa, even though the effect afterwards was complete opposite. Um, Dan is such a, a skilled makeup artist that I was very comfortable, and it was very light because it was foam latex. And I'm not ashamed to tell you, I have not showered since yesterday. Matter of fact, if you look at my hair, that's from me drooling on myself, and the the color in my mouth is a, a makeup effect, and that is all from yesterday. You looked amazing. You look amazing today. You ready like for it? it? We got friends. We got things that we're gonna see. People so we gotta excited. meet. I'm so excited. We just got done meeting some of the cast from Hocus Pocus, and sadly, they didn't let us take any video of us meeting them and them signing different things. But they did let us take pictures. So here's some pictures of that experience, and then we're gonna show you what we bought. You're gonna lose your damn mind. <laughs> this one over here is still reeling from it. So we decided to get the photo op, the pro photo op with Doug Jones. So that's where we're heading right now. Hey, come on. If you have the opportunity to get a picture with Doug Jones, like a professional photo, you got to. One of the fun things about coming to these conventions are these photo ops. So we just got done meeting Doug Jones and he is an amazing person. Now we got a few different things signed. First one here, go ahead and hold it up a little bit more. If you didn't know this, Jessica is a huge fan of Hellboy 2. So this one here is signed by Doug Jones and Selma Blair, which she's not here. So this one was already pre-signed. Yeah. This is my baby. Oh yeah. My baby. I'm <laughs> coming for you, Ron Perlman. Now what else did we get? 
We have so many things for Hocus Pocus that they had these beautiful ones of Hocus Pocus too, and I couldn't pass it up. So there's that one, with Billy. Gorgeous. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. And I gotta come full circle to Pathadina. Right? Some what we do in the shadows. That's beautiful. The Baron. The Baron. The Baron. And of course, we had to get our Hocus Pocus poster signed. That's a mouthful. There's Doug Jones right there, Billy, and we got the cast as well. We got Max, we got Mick Garris, we got Ice, and he also wrote Ernie, Allison, and Jay. So I've got a couple more to get. This one right here, this will be the hardest one. If anybody out there has any kind of connection or any way to make that happen, eternal grateful. Oh my freaking word. <laughs> Monster Palooza, the only place where you see things like this. You look phenomenal, by the way. Here's the whole package. Look at this. The dress and everything. Everything makes it. Oh my freaking. I got chills. You're giving me chills and I, you're, you're, there's something coming. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my freaking word. You were beyond beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's not every day that you can go out and run into an actual werewolf. <laughs> this is our friend. People always ask if we have pets. This one right here. We have family. Break and go, <laughs> oh, you both look amazing. And you, let, let, let's see the face. Yeah, I saw you doing it earlier. Get in character. <laughs> Perfect. You, you both look amazing. Thank you. Bye. This is, this is amazing. Look at you guys. <laughs> Got to back up and take it all in. It even comes with free candy. I'm not taking it. I don't care. It's got your picture on it, but I'm not taking your candy. <laughs> ah, screw it. I'll take them both. <laughs> well, this is the first for me. Actual twins as the Grady twins from The Shining. You both look phenomenal. Thank you. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Creepy, creepy, creepy. <laughs> Have fun. Now this is what I'm talking about. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Would you look at these two? You two have to be my favorite here. I love you both. <laughs> you know how I feel about the shining, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a big note for me. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Look at you. <laughs> oh my freaking word. Well, look who we met. Well, not really. I mean, it is the invisible man. But this is close enough. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I like to have a transparent personality. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Not only is this Monster Palooza the biggest event here in Los Angeles for Halloween, but it's also Gordy's birthday. Remember the movie Nope? Oh, you got your hat on? Look at that. Ready? That's because we got Gordy right here. <laughs> he had a banana earlier. What'd you do with the banana? Uh, it is what it is. Well, this is a first for us. We just signed our name in the Book of the Dead. Look at that right there. We get over this way. Right next to Dead Meat James. Thank you. It was quite an honor. <laughs> well, what do we have here? It's a little Wednesday. 
Hello and happy Halloween. <laughs> you look beautiful. One of the best things about this place is running into friends. Oh! It's a good time. <laughs> you both look amazing. You always do. Thank you. And of course, we have Pearl. You look beautiful. Oh, this is fun. All these people are gathered around because V. Neal's right there doing Edward Scissorhands makeup. Last year from Monster Palooza, V. Neal did the penguin makeup. This year, she's doing Edward Scissorhands. And then you can see over there, the girl in the white. So it's a couple's thing. And would you look at that, up there on the monitor, they have Johnny Depp in the chair. Photos from back whenever she first did the makeup. So by the looks of it, they should be almost ready to put the wig on. They're getting it ready right over here. You can see V. That's a nice shot with Edward away up there in the corner. I'm a big nobody, but please take lots more. So if you can just imagine, I mean, whenever they make the movie, they have a lot of time. But here, they kind of have to just kind of throw it together and it still looks like this. It's like a giant dust bunny. Yeah, see, I, I love to goof around. I've had this on in a minute. <laughs> just goofing around and you miss the hair on the head. Everybody's just getting ready. Okay, here we go. This is like a big deal, right? There's a crowd of people behind me waiting. Like a giant dust bunny, isn't it? Like I'm, I'm kneeling and I'm shaking. Look at that. All right. In a way, it kind of feels like, you know, like you're watching Edward Scissorhands, like watching Edward being built and come to life, right? I will, yes. To give you an idea of what's happening, they're looking at pictures of Edward, Johnny Depp's Edward Scissorhands, and they're trying to make the hair as close to possible as the picture. That's wild. That, that attention to detail, and it's not even a movie set. It's just a demo here. That's Monster Palooza. Wait a second. Edward Scissorhands like Starbucks? My head. <laughs> I was like, what on earth am I being baptized? He looks so sad. <laughs> The belt was cast off the movie. It's an exact replica of the movie. It is time. Oh yeah. Let me back up a little bit. Oh, that's just bad booty. <laughs> and, and there we go. Edward and his creators. Beautiful. But of course we have to get them both together. I love it. I, you look amazing. <laughs> now, us walking into here right now, this is before the show opens up, so some of the lights might not be on properly. But there's not gonna be many people in here. 
Oh my word. First up in the Monster Museum, we have Count Orlock. Good old Casey J. Wong. Back up a little bit so you can get the sign in. Oh my word. This is the first thing that I wanted to point out, and I'm surprised that it's right here. I saw pictures online. What I wanted to see most was this. Yeah. This is just downright beautiful. They even have a set up here for the movie Cobra, one of my favorite Stallone flicks. Man, look at this. As tempting as it is, I'm not gonna show you every monster inside this museum. But some of the more obscure ones, things that really stand out. Because you see a lot of like, you know, Chucky's and Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees. But some of these are just larger than life. Jessica's a huge fan of the Hellboy movies and this monster right here is from Hellboy 1. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah. They got all kinds of different things here. Right over here in the corner, scary stories to tell in the dark. And then some killer clowns from outer space. Sometimes whenever you see a line of monsters, you kind of have to just walk the line to take them all in. Need a, a spooky nightlight? Well, this is the second thing here that I really wanted to see. This is our buddy Christopher Nelson's piece. The thing. And wait till you see his head spin around. I gotta talk to him. I, I, we, we have to own this somehow. Yeah, that's cool. And if you're gonna have a monster museum, you have to have some creep show, right? Yeah, I can see all of this in our house. We have Reagan here from The Exorcist as well. Now talk about presentation, look at this. All right, that's, that's, that's pretty sick. One of Jessica's all time favorite movies is Legend. And right over here in the corner, I gotta back up a little bit so you can see it, they have darkness. These are from our friends, Icons of Darkness. And it says, Tim Curry's original makeup effects head. Look at that. Let's get a little closer look at it. There we go, look how it lights up. Yeah, so let me do that. Also from Icons of Darkness, they have this xenomorph over here. Original alien xenomorph sculpt from 1990. Man. Don't know what's happening over here, but they are glowing. This has got some good presentation, that's for sure. Does this one glow over here too? That just looks messy. Hey, some of this stuff is pretty realistic. Or at the very least, it looks like you just reach out and then touch it and then your hand's gonna be all wet. Looking pretty freaking nasty, that's for sure. Now, I just showed this piece in parts, but you kind of have to look at it with, through the whole picture. I mean, you can't tell me that this is terrifyingly cool, right? Monster Palooza 2023 Monster Museum? Wow. All right, we got more to see. 
If you know anything about me, you know that I love posters and I love getting them signed. And one of my favorite places to get posters is a place known as Hero Complex Gallery. I mean, look at this. This is the black light reactive collection. Check out this poster for John Carpenter's The Thing. Oh my freaking word. And we all know how much Jessica loves Who Framed Roger Rabbit. She saw this poster from across the room. Didn't realize that it was black light sensitive or reactive, whatever you want to call it. And uh, she about lost her gourd. Honestly, if posters are your thing, you guys got to check this place out because there's nothing like it. Everybody does posters now, but not like these guys. Jessica has a thing about kissing monsters. I have a feeling that one might eat your head off. So be extra careful. <laughs> what you're looking at right now is some of the art pieces by an artist by the name of Mark Tavares. I love that there's like this 3D aspect to it. I saw this piece out of the corner of my eye and I immediately thought Bride of Frankenstein. But the label actually says Hiss. Inspired by Young Frankenstein. So there you go. Who doesn't love the little shop of horrors? Man, that's cool. And of course, we got to have some grotesque Ghostbusters, right? Well, let me introduce you to the disturbing world of Michael Broom. Only going to show you a few different things here, but I think this has to be one of our favorite pieces, the witch. And all the pumpkins, of course, you know, Jessica absolutely loves it. Here, look at that witch right there. Look at that. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Got this beautiful piece of Dracula himself right here. And of course, if you're gonna have Dracula, you have to have Frankenstein's monster, right? The Exorcist, Reagan, and check it out. The frame of the picture is the bedpost with sheets on it. Genius. And then, of course, here at Monster Palooza, you see things like this. Oh my word. Wow. And away he goes. Back to sleep. With that being said, we want to thank you for joining us at Monster Palooza 2023. And from all of us, happy Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 